this is Stumpy, and welcome back to the Flats Back Challenge. This is a very exciting time in the, the Flats Back Challenge, and I feel like I'm saying that every episode, because there's loads of exciting times. And can I just first point out how many chickens there are randomly roaming around this area? I spent ages building my fancy chicken collector machine just to get 10 eggs, and now there's just chickens everywhere. To be fair, getting eggs was never going to be uh, that much of a problem anyway. Right then, so I'll tell you why it's exciting. So in the last episode, I built the uh, the big area up there, which is just quite cool. I was going to, um, like, extend it uh, a little bit and kind of add add some sort of support underneath to make it look less weird. I realize I don't really want to do that. One, because I don't really want to spend too much time doing stuff like that when I have challenges to complete. Also, it could, would kind of ruin the, um, the glass floor. I really love the glass floor. I put a glass floor up there so I can go and look all the way down, and it's genuinely a little bit frightening. Even though it is just a video game, and even if I did fall, it wouldn't be the, the worst thing in the world. It's still a little bit scary when you're up the, the top there looking down. So, uh, I thought that I'm going to leave it the, the way it is and keep it uh, keep it scary just the, the way it is. So, what I want to do then, before I do anything else, is I'm going to go and extend the glass floor. Uh, just to make it so that you can kind of step on a slightly larger area. And then I'm going to do a whole load of eating. I know I probably uh, remind you about this uh, a little bit too often, but let me explain what the, the challenges are. So I'm currently on the, uh, oh, there's a little bit of sand here. This is what I was after. One block, one block of sand. God, worst pool of water ever. So yeah, basically there's a bunch of challenges I need to complete. I'm on the feast section, which basically means I need to eat five cakes, five pumpkin pie, five cooked uh, fish, and then five mushroom stew. And I've made all of the, the food. I have started eating the, the food. Right, two bits of sand. That'll do. I'm not going to spend ages if every little bit of uh, of water I go to has one bit of sand. So this is going to, to have to, to do for, for now. So let's go and smelt this. So yeah, uh, I need to, to go and eat all of those things. So uh, the reason I'm kind of running and jumping all over the, the place like this is because I'm trying to, to get my hunger down. It's so difficult to not just eat. Like, every time I get a bit hungry, I just go to, to get some potatoes or something and just eat them. I'm like, no! It's part of the challenge! I need to be really strategic with uh, with what I eat. So it's not going to be as difficult as you think. I mean, one, it's not actually difficult. It's, it's less difficult. It's more more time-consuming, I guess, is the, the way to, to put it, rather than it necessarily being difficult. So cakes are the big trouble. Cakes are the, the big thing that are going to be causing me an issue, because there's no way to get around eating cake because you have to eat loads of it and it just puts up your your health really gradually your hunger sorry so i'm just gonna have to to get my hunger down a lot to, to eat the cakes everything else isn't going to be a big deal because I could literally have just half a hunger bar and then if i eat a pumpkin pie even though it would give me way more hunger than that it doesn't matter because like, as long as I've just eaten the food, that's all that matters. It's not like, oh, I need to completely get the maximum efficiency for all of the food. That's not the challenge. I just need to eat it all. And so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start off by just eating down all of the food that I have. I don't think it's going to take too long, uh, to be honest, because I have my very efficient way of getting my hunger down. And then we're going to go down. Uh, if you don't know how it works, basically there's obsidian layers throughout the, the world. I've gone down through one to, to get to, to this level. And now I will be able to, once I've eaten my food, go down to the, the next level, which is the craft level and uh, yeah there's going to be a whole load of different items that I'm going to have the, the challenge to, to craft uh, but you're going to have to wait and see what layers are down there. This is of course a custom super flat and I can decide exactly what every layer of the world is going to, to be and uh, I have designed this for myself. I did want a challenge but I wanted things to, to be possible uh, for, for me to, to complete as well so Things aren't necessarily going to, to be easier uh, going forward, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to, to once again just having a change of scenery and uh, being able to do something different. Not that I haven't enjoyed spending ages making loads and loads of food. So right then, this is my, my little area up here. Here's my table. Uh, let's go and put down a, another cake here, shall we? So I can go and eat that up in a, in a second. Uh, but let's go, and, uh, let's go and put down my glass floor here. Seeing as I only have two more blocks, I guess we can just go and uh, place them here and here. There we go. That's a little bit of a, of a better glass floor. And I'm not going to do the thing I did in the last episode where I pretended to, to break it uh, because that was a little bit too scary even for <laughs> even for, for me uh, when I was in control. So let's go try and eat this cake. So I'm going to go... Should I do with the cakes? Actually, I'm going to save one of the cakes for last. I want the last thing that I eat in the, the feast uh, to be a cake because that's going to basically be like my dessert, isn't it? So... 
Let's save one of these cakes uh, for, for last, but let's eat the, the other one now, and then we can go and hopefully really quickly get through all of the, the other food, uh, and then that way we'll be able to, to carry on digging down. Of course, I don't have any uh, diamond tools. I don't have a, a diamond pickaxe, so I am going to have to, to kind of break through the, the obsidian the, the old-fashioned way, and the reason I keep hurting myself like that is because that is a great way for your hunger to go down, especially when you have full hunger, actually. So if I go and eat this, and see, now I've got full hunger, but now, as it's replenishing my health. My hunger's gonna go down so fast. Look at that! My hunger's going down already. That's amazing. So, uh, let's just go and eat some of this other stuff while I'm here. I'm scared to go back over the, the magma, seeing as I'm hurt so much. I don't want her to end up dying. But look at that! I eat a fish, and how many seconds until I can eat another fish? Wait for it. Okay, maybe it's a little bit longer than I expected. Let's time it this time. Let's see, from my hunger going down, let's go and get my health right down. I'm gonna eat a fish, and let's see how long it takes. So, eat the fish, and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. So under 10 seconds, I can eat one bit of food under 10 seconds. So that is, that is amazing. That is very, very, very efficient. But let's go and uh, try and finish off that, that cake first, shall we? So let's go and get my uh, hunger down a little bit further. I can finish off the, the cake, and then as I said, I'll go and save the, the final cake as the last thing that I, I need to, to eat. So, uh, I'm, I'm really tempted to, to eat the fish. I'm going to, to resist eating the, the fish, and uh, let's instead go and try and finish off the, the cake. Is that enough? Is that enough to finish off? No, I think I'm going to need a little bit more. Yeah, there's two slices left. Uh, but this is good. I think this is an easier way to, to do it, because it's only when your, your hearts are actually going up that it takes away your hunger quicker. So, it's always better to, to kind of have your, your hunger higher up like that, so your hearts can actually go up. Because once you're a certain amount of hungry, uh, your health doesn't go up, so it doesn't get sped up at all, but this should definitely uh, be enough to, to finish off the, the cake, so let's go num 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 go and eat that. Uh, we can go straight away and have this uh, this fish as well. That's going to start my hunger going up and my uh, you know, hunger going down, sorry, and my health going up. And we're almost done, actually. It's just uh, two pumpkin pie and then all of the, the the mushroom stew as well. So let's just go and, don't know what I'm doing here, let's just go and put all of this in my inventory and let's just go and eat through all of it. <laughs> this is actually way, way, way easier than I first expected that it would be. So let's go and do a start on the, the mushroom stew. Let's get the mushroom stew out of the, the way, shall we? I think out of all of these, these foods, Foods, that would be my least favorite one to, to eat in uh, in real life. Like what a out of Minecraft. What would be your like favorite and least favorite food to, to eat? Because I don't like pumpkin pie either. I assume I'd like it more than mushroom stew, but I actually had some uh, some homemade pumpkin pie, and it wasn't very tasty. I assume it would because I like some pumpkin flavored things. I like pumpkin flavored things, but I don't really like things with actual bits of pumpkin in. So I really didn't like pumpkin pie. Cake is obviously a must. I'm not really a fish person either. You know what? If I was put in Minecraft, I think I would actually just be eating a whole load of cake because there's not many of the the other foods that I actually really like. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's always like my joke. I mean, I do like cookies uh, as well, so I guess that would be something else. But I really think that if I was forced to live inside of Minecraft, cake may be my my main source of nutrition, which probably isn't the the best idea. Anyway, look at this. That is all of the the mushroom stew down. Let's go and do a bit of a start on the, the, the pumpkin pie then, shall we? We've got two more uh, bits of pumpkin pie, and then I would have eaten absolutely everything uh, that I need to, to eat in the, the feast, apart from the uh, the final celebratory cake. This has been crazy, crazy quick, because I thought this was going to take absolutely for forever, uh, but the fact that I know I ate a, a tiny amount in the, the last episode, but apart from that, I've eaten absolutely everything already in a row here. That's kind of incredible. So let's go and uh, get my health down a little bit more, and that's going to speed my hunger down, and I now know exactly how how hungry I need to, to be until I can eat the, the full cake. So basically, if you want to, to be able to, to eat a full cake in Minecraft instantly, a very important skill to, to be able to, to have, you need to make sure you have three hunger bars left. So once I've got three hunger bars left, then I will be able to, to eat the entire cake down, and then I'm going to waste no time. I'm going to go straight down to the, the bottom of the tower. Going down the tower is always much quicker than going up the, the tower, so that won't take very long at all. And then I'm going to dig down, and I'm going to explain exactly everything that I need to, to make on the, the craft level, and explain exactly what is in the, the craft level level as well, because uh, it's been very different from the, the, the Stampy Flat challenge, because in the, the Stampy Flat challenge, which is kind of like the, the prequel to this challenge, I kind of just kept digging straight down, and it was never a surprise. I showed you exactly what each layer is, so I think it's kind of more fun, even though I know you having no idea what's going to, to be below us. But anyway, it is time for me to finish the feast! Nom 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 nom. 
Delicious! And I have now finished the feast part of the, the challenge, and I am now officially on the craft side of the, the challenge, and I'm still hungry. After all of that, after all of that non-stop eating, I am somehow still hungry and all. Got a little bit scared there. A little bit scared as I was flying down. So let's go and uh, maybe grab some uh, some more food. You know what? I'm looking forward to eating something other than all of those foods after eating all of that. Uh, I should have um I should have some potatoes somewhere around here. Potatoes. Uh, let's take some golden apples actually. They're just kind of handy to to have on me. Potatoes. Where are my potatoes? I put my I put my potatoes somewhere. And now I can't find- oh, here we go. Here are my potatoes in here. Let's go and grab some characters as well. I guess some arrows as well, just to, to maybe protect myself when we go down a little bit lower. Let's go and grab my sword and uh, this, and I should have everything that I need to, to go and venture down a little bit deeper. So this is perfect timing. The the sun is uh, just about to, to set, uh, so we can go and uh, sleep in the, the bed here. And uh, yeah, then I can go and, uh, and dig down. Definitely much easier to complete the, the feast part of the, the challenge compared to the, the beast. And I'm not entirely sure how long the, the craft is going to last. So I'm going to continue just digging down where I was here and uh, let me show you what is uh, is going to, to be under underneath. And oh, that would be a ladder I broke rather uh, rather than some obsidian. So what I've always wanted to, to do is to have one ladder from the very, very top of the world, which is basically where that platform is, all the way down to the, the very bottom of the, the world. So once I've gone uh, down and explored a little bit, I'm going to go and uh, carry on the, the trail going underneath uh, and then that way uh, I can eventually be able to go all the way down from the, the bottom, what is going to be underneath here, and then all the way back up to the, the top in just kind of one big ladder. And I think it's just going to look cool. It's going to be able to look cool kind of looking up through the world and seeing through all of the, the layers and eventually seeing up to the sky. But anyway, the big dramatic reveal of what layer is going to be underneath the obsidian is... Drumroll, please! Bada 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 Stone! There's gonna be stone! Okay, so let me explain what this is while I break the uh, the other block of obsidian here. Am I actually breaking it? There we go. So basically, there's loads and loads of stone underneath me, which might sound boring, but it means I can go mining! Like, proper, real-life mining. So one of the things that they've updated since the, the Stampy Flat Challenge is now normal ores are just gonna spawn inside of all of the, the, the stone. There's also gonna be ravines and mine shafts and a stronghold and all of the normal stuff you'd find when exploring under the, the mine. That is all going to be down here. So so here are the things that I need to craft. I need to make 10 clocks, 10 redstone lamps, one enchantment table, and one anvil, which means I need redstone, I need gold, I need diamonds, I need lots of iron to make the, the anvil. There is a whole bunch of things that I'm going to, to need to, to collect, and luckily, I have a mine to go down. And it's really handy as well, because it looks like there's a start of a cave literally right underneath this tunnel, because I don't have to only dig down there. I could dig through the obsidian wherever I want. I mean, it's a little bit slow, so I'm not going to be doing it loads or anything, but uh, it means that I'm not just stuck digging there. But for now, let's go and grab some of these stone bricks. And then, yep, I got some spare ladders down here as well. And then that way we can at least carry on the, the trail. And see what I mean? Eventually, I'm just going to be able to look through all of these things all the way back up to the, the very top of the, the sky. So here we are. We are in a proper cave. And look, iron. Actual just iron just sitting there like it's no big deal. Like I haven't been struggling to get iron this entire time. Look at this iron just like casually hanging out on the floor down here. Like it's not a big deal for me to go and get some iron. Look at this. Iron is no longer going to be pressured. I'm gonna get diamonds. I'm go well, I need to get diamonds. Uh, I need to make an enchantment table. I'd love to make a diamond pickaxe as well, just so I can continue digging through uh, the, the surface. But look at this, I can get coal. No longer do I need to, to go and do loads and loads and loads of charcoal. I can just go mining and get coal. Basically, just like normal people do inside of Minecraft. <laughs> it feels like I've just opened up the ability to have normal Minecraft. There is a bit of a of a, of a strange obsidian ceiling above me, which is, uh, I guess, slightly different to, to what you'd normally expect. And oh, I oh know, is this it? Okay, I think that's it for, for this part of the, the cave here. So let's go and add in the, the rest of the, the ladders leading down here. And it would be cool just to dig straight down. Like, it'd be great if I got really lucky and then this kind of tunnel just led straight down. And uh, there was something like cool just down here in this area. So I guess I should probably dig away this entire section here. And this is going to make things safer as well. Because people say you should never dig straight down. But what people never say is that you kind of can dig straight down. As, as long as you literally don't do it like a single block. Because if you do a single block and you break it and you fall into lava, you lose all your stuff. 
it's a rubbish day. But if you kind of do what I'm doing here and make sure you're not standing on the, the block that you're breaking, you're fine. Because if you break it and you look down and there's a creeper or there's lava or some other nasty that would end, uh, ruin your day otherwise, you're fine. Just don't jump down. So uh, yeah, you shouldn't dig straight down. But if you do it like this, uh, then that is going to be fine. So tell me, let's not worry about the, the ladders and stuff for, for now. Let's just go and keep digging down in this area. I'm just hoping that I'm going to be like directly above a proper cave. And then that way when I go to, to go down to, to go mining, I can just go and follow that one ladder. But the other thing I can do, as I said, is I can kind of just wander around the, um, the, the surface area, uh, you know, where all of the, the grass and the animals and stuff are, and I can just look for what looks like the start of a good cave. So whether I see a ravine or just anything interesting in any way, I can kind of just wander around that area there and then just go and dig my way down. I'd just love to make the, the diamond pickaxe first because breaking obsidian with a, uh, an iron pickaxe isn't the most fun thing to do at all. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Oh, I don't have any iron. Oh, I do actually. I can smelt some iron. Seeing as uh, I have some spare iron here, after all, I can go and uh, leave. Oh, didn't mean to make another crafting table there. Yeah, as uh, soon as I have uh, have this, let's just go and make uh, a furnace down here. And let's just go and smelt this iron while we're down here. I can't be bothered to, to go the, <laughs> the, the whole way back up. So let's go and throw that in there. Let's go and throw some of my brand new coal in there. And I can also kind of start building up this area here. I guess if I kind of build up to... To, to where I did there. I'm gonna need to, to make some more ladders. But yeah, let's just go, let's go down straight to the, the, the next obsidian level, just so we can see how far down the, the next obsidian level uh, is, and then we can start kind of planning everything else uh, kind of going forward from there. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna be doing lots of digging straight down, and uh, we might not even find anything interesting, let me speed up the, the video now uh, until I've been able to, to dig down, and then we can uh, check out anything that I was able to discover. Okay, well, I've continued to, to dig straight down, ran into my first issue here. So <laughs> all I'm doing is really demonstrating why digging down the, the way I was digging down seemed to be the way to go. And oh, oh, look, oh, is this it? This is the obsidian. Oh, was that red? Was that lava right on the obsidian level? Look. I did it. I dug the, the whole way down. So this is how deep it goes. As you can see, it goes down pretty, pretty deep down. So I did leave some uh, some cobblestone smelling. Let's just go and gather some of this stuff up. Right, I'm going to be really careful because obviously I'm near lava level and uh, there's a lot of redstone here and I want to gather it, but I want to be careful from uh, from the lava. Okay, no lava that side. Any around here? No, I think we uh, we should be good, good to, to gather this up. So I can hear lots of noises. Look, if I stay quiet for a second, you'll be able to hear them as well. Look, listen to this. Can you hear that? I'm near a cave. I don't know which direction it's in, but there's a cave somewhere nearby to, to where I am. I just don't know exactly where it is. So I might dig around a little bit down there, trying to be very careful from the, the lava and try and find it. So anyway, let's, let's leave that going for, for now. So I just basically want to make some um, uh, some more stone bricks in order to uh, to, to be able to, to kind of fill in the, the rest of this area. To be honest, I did think I had further to, to go down than I than I thought. So yeah, let me go quiet again. And let me try and listen to find exactly where, where these googlies are. I think they're this way. It's very hard to tell by just listening. It sounds like they might be over in this direction, which means there might be a, a cave over in this direction down here. So something else that I didn't really mention, uh, why it's uh, a great idea to do the, the tunnel in the, the way that I did the tunnel, is it means that I didn't need to put any torches down in the, the tunnel. Have you noticed how it was really, really lit up with no torches? And that's just because there was sunlight, because the, the tunnel goes all the way up to the, the surface. I didn't need to, to worry about kind of lighting it up myself. It was all lit up already. And is it above me? Is there a cave? I think there might be a cave above me. This is where it's also a, a little bit scary as you're as you're digging up like this in case there's lava. I can hear water as well. Can you hear the water? Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's really close by, but I have no idea where. Let's go like a little bit further around this way and then maybe dig up again. It sounds like it's literally right above me. I'm scared there's going to be gravel that's going to fall. We seem to be okay. Let's maybe like pile up here a little bit and like go up a bit higher maybe are they like higher up above me i'm getting really scared doing this this is like a really dangerous way to, to go looking for for a cave <laughs> i don't know if i can find it i don't know if i'm going to be able to to find the the cave it sounds like it's just a few blocks above me somewhere maybe i should do what i'm doing now but do it from like a few blocks up if that makes sense so maybe if i go up to 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 here and then start digging in this direction 
I might be able to, to find it. It'd just be really handy to be able to go straight down the, the ladder and then into a, a cave. I don't know, it'd just be quite cool uh, as well. So if I can find that cave, that'd be amazing. If not, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some diamonds and I can just start digging away some of the, the obsidian in the, the other places because there's there's loads of places that just look like they were going to be the, the entrance to an epic cave. And I remember kind of making a, a mental note to, to come back and check some of them out. Uh, and uh, now uh, is my, my best chance to, to actually be able to, to do that. But I've already spoken about the, the challenges too much have I so what's gonna be the the most challenging thing maybe the the clocks might be most difficult I think getting the redstone for the redstone lamps will be relatively painless I may regret saying that but I think that should be okay just because um you can get so much redstone in each like section that you you go to to do so what I think might be the the smartest way to to go about this rather than saying like Right, I am looking for redstone now, or right, I am trying to do this now. I think it'd be good just to have, like, big epic mining trips. Just go mining, just to explore and find whatever I can find, and then basically kind of take it from there and say, right, this is what I've been able to, to get so far, what else do I need? I think that's going to be the, the better way to, to go about this. So I think uh, that is going to be what the, the plan is, rather than kind of in particular trying to, to track down one particular block. So, sadly, it seems like I've failed to, to find my cave there, but uh, I have uh, been able to, to grab this stone so let's just go and uh, fill in the the rest of the the tunnel going up here uh, anyway seeing as that won't take very long and then yeah i might go and uh, look around on the um uh, on the the feast level i guess and start just looking where where does it look most interesting to to start digging down and ah that is the problem when you're relying on the the sunlight in your tunnel i guess when the sun goes down you are then plunged into to darkness so <laughs> that wasn't uh, quite as good right then is this going to be enough stone bricks to, to fill in this area it might just about be or probably knowing my luck it will just about not be uh, enough to, to fill it in i don't know this looks okay this looks like i might be able to to do this so if i go up to the the top here and do these going down and then yeah we got all the way down to the the obsidian level of course there is more underneath the, the ground we haven't got to the the bottom of the the challenge yet there is one other level which i'm going to need to complete which is called the the last a very fitting name considering as it is the the last challenge if i may say so myself <laughs> uh, so yeah we will be doing that afterwards and uh, there is something even more probably unexpected than what this uh, this level was i don't know maybe this is what you expected i just thought it'd be a really nice break from everything that i've been doing just to be able to do some proper Minecraft, proper mining, because the great thing about it, something I didn't really speak about, is I set the layer to be stone, that doesn't mean that the layer is just going to be stone. There's going to be all sorts down here. As you saw, there's dirt, there's diorite, there's andesite. Basically, it's it's almost just all of the normal blocks that you would find in a cave you're going to, to be able to, to find here. So it's just basically almost as if I'm just in a normal underground cave. All of the normal cave systems that you'd expect, they're going to be all uh, appearing. So it's basically just like a, a bog standard like Minecraft underground area with all of the, the dangers, the googlies, the lava, the loot, everything that you'd expect uh, just in this this crazy super flat world so like so say if someone say if someone this was the first episode of this they started watching and they had no idea what was going to, to be happening and you know say say you just showed your friend this episode and they started watching now they would have no idea what's on the surface right now okay this this might be a bit of a giveaway but when i was down in the the cave it would be literally just like any other minecraft world which i think is really cool that you can kind of have that and then have the the really weird world at the the top so where it looks like it's gonna be the start of a good cave oh this looks like a start of a good cave doesn't it look at this area down here look at this giant level of obsidian right there let's let's go and mark this so i don't end up getting lost and then let's go and uh dig down right in the, the middle of this area here because I reckon this is going to be the, the start of a proper big cave that I'm going to be able to, to explore. So let's just go and break this away and then we can go and have a, have a peek in. And my first task I think to do before anything else is just to get diamonds, just to get a diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. I can even think about getting diamond armor. Like, actually crafting diamond armor. Like, isn't that just crazy? Like, the fact that I've been scrounging and I've had so few materials, I now just have the whole world of possibilities open to, to me. And why not? Why wouldn't I be able to, to go and mine some diamonds? Uh, diamonds? So, uh, yeah, I think that, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow this cave, hopefully go down deep, and see if I can get all of the, the loot that I can find. But let's see if this is going to be the start of a good cave. And whoa! It looks like one. Let's have a look. Right, let's get my sword ready. Dive down. Oh, this looks like a huge cave. This is exactly what I was after. Sadly, it's not right underneath my tunnel. But look at this place. It goes off in like every direction. Yet there's no way I'm not going to be able to find some goodies down here. I can even find dungeons, abandoned mine shaft, all of the things that normally spawn in as well. All of that stuff should be around here somewhere so I can try and track that down. Could I... 
Could I try and find the stronghold? Oh no, I can't make Eye of Enders, can I? So I might run into a stronghold, uh, but yeah, I can't really go and uh, set out to, to try and find one. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to, to stumble into one. But uh, sadly... We have just about run out of time in this episode here, so I've pretty much uh, told you exactly what the, the plan is for the, the future episodes. We are digging down to see what we're going to be able to, to find under the, the ground, and yeah, try to, to complete the, the craft challenge just as efficiently as we were able to, to complete the, the feast challenge. But sadly, that is the end of this episode here. As always, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode, and the, the playlist as well will be down there. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!